Bruce, with all the concern about fats and cholesterol, does coconut oil affect cholesterol? Well, that's an interesting question because a lot of people are confused on that. I bet they are. <laughs> There has been lots of studies that have taken people and have given them different types of vegetable oils and have measured their cholesterol values afterwards. And they have found that polyunsaturated vegetable oils, like mm -hmm. soybean oil and corn oil, lower total cholesterol better than coconut oil. And this mm. has been interpreted to mean that polyunsaturated vegetable oils protect against heart disease while coconut oil doesn't. However, all right. However, <laughs> when you also calculate HDL, the good cholesterol, mm -hmm. and calculate the cholesterol ratio, the picture totally changed. Now, you know that total cholesterol is really an unreliable indicator of heart disease risk. Mm -hmm. Half of those people who die of heart attacks have normal to below normal cholesterol levels. Half, half. fully half. Uh -huh. So it's, it's not a very good no, it isn't, indicator. Is it? A much better indicator is the cholesterol ratio. Mm -hmm. The cholesterol ratio takes into account how, many, how much good cholesterol and bad cholesterol are in the total. So the cholesterol ratio is what you need to be concerned with. So. HDL cholesterol, the good cholesterol, the more mm -hmm. HDL you have, the better. Well, coconut oil has the characteristic of increasing HDL and therefore reducing the cholesterol ratio. And so all these studies, when you factor in the cholesterol ratio, you find that coconut oil reduces the cholesterol ratio, or in other words, reduces the risk of heart disease better than any other fat. That's pretty amazing. That is amazing. So according to cholesterol values, coconut oil is more protective against heart disease than any other dietary fat. Hands down. Hands down. 